Greetings everyone. Um, I did this video way back in the past and um, it was a ranking from worst to best of the Simon and Garfunkel studio albums. Um, I kind of want to just do it again um, just because, you know, it felt like I wasn't really, um, I, you know, I wasn't really like, um, I don't know, I wasn't very enthusiastic about the, you know, the way I was, you know, talking about the you know tracks and stuff but now that I've kind of you know came to you know come to know and kind of like listen to their albums a lot you know uh, frequently or whatever you know I kind of want to re-rank the albums again and of course um, I, sh I believe with the first video I showed you the set and stuff and um, it, came, it came from um, a deluxe set um, from Legacy Music or Sony Music? Uh, Sony Music yeah this was um, a 2001 release of their um, all their um, studio albums and stuff. So I figured I would just, you know, re-rank um, the studio albums, um, 64 to 1970. And um, I kind of just want to go one by one on uh, each of the albums, you know, again, um, to make it a little bit better than, than the first one. I felt like the first one wasn't really that, I felt like it, was, I felt like it wasn't you know, enthusiastic about it. It wasn't very, um, you know, it wasn't very, you know, I felt kind of awkward in the video a little bit. Like it kind of felt a little weird and kind of like wasn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't done well. So I kind of feel like just redoing it again, kind of re-ranking them and maybe possibly have one of the albums up there against the other, but it could be the same. I'm not sure. Um, we'll just see how it goes. So um, my original ranking um, I had um, originally below the list was um, their first album, um, Wednesday morning, 3 a.m., um, apparently this is not everyone's favorite, um, Simon and Garfunkel album, of course this was their debut album. Um, if I had to choose at least one, um, song that I like, um, from the album, it's, um, uh, probably, uh, maybe The Sound of Silence. You know, I really like, um, it's interesting to hear the acoustic version than, um, hearing it from their actual studio album, uh, The Sound of Silence, which has more of the instruments and stuff. But it's pretty good. I mean, I don't listen to it often. It's obviously not one of their good albums, obviously. You know, it's just their debut album. And of course, they have a few Dylan cover songs on here as well, including some other, you know, traditional, um, you know, folk songs, if you will. And, um, and of course, originally this was ranked after, um, you know, Wednesday morning, 3 a.m., um, Bookends from 1968. Um, it's, I mean, some people say it's like a great album. It's one of their greatest albums, you know, but um, I don't really, I don't really think it is. It's kind of weak at times. And the flip side, it's, it's really awkward with the, um, uh, what should we call it? Like the, the, the other side of the album just has like a lot of the singles and stuff that was just released you know, before this album, you know what I mean? Stuff from 66 and 67, like um, Hazy Shade of Winter and all that. So, but my favorite um, track, I believe, definitely off of um, bookends is, of course, Mrs. Robinson. What a great classic song, right? So, 1968, um, bookends. Now, for my next album, this is um, how I had it, of course, originally. Um, I feel like this is all um, how I did it before in the original um, ranking, I believe. But, you know, like, again, I kind of want to do it a little bit more, you know, come to know, you know. And um, and the next album, I this was the original. Um, next to bookends is the sound of silence. Um, I really I really do love the album. You know, it kind of has like some hit or miss uh, tracks on it. Uh, my favorite track, of course, is um, uh, I'm a rock. That's a really good one. And in fact, most of all these tracks are from the uh, the Paul Simon songbook, um, which were of course. Um, demos and kind of like you know acoustic versions of the stuff on the stuff that was going to be on this album um, and I've had to choose at least a wheat track on here um, it feels like all these are great you know I don't really need to have another week you know, I don't need to you know talk about you know have a weak song on the on this uh, this is a great album I think in my opinion and um, I do love of course the the big hit sound of silence of course you know the one that has all the instruments and stuff and now here's the number two 
um, best Simon and Garfunkel album. That is, um, whoa, CD almost fell. <laughs> is a uh, Parsi Sage Rosemary and Time. This was um, a really a great, really great, great, great album. This was probably um, I could have easily switched it with this and the other one, but um, this is this is a gorgeous album. I really do I love. I really do love the uh, the baroqueness to it. And it's just like one of their like really strong albums, you know, kind of think about it. Um, my favorite track on here is, of course, Scarborough Fair. I mean, it was a single in 1968. Um, it was released on the album first. And um, I really love, um, well, it's um, Homework Bound. Oh, my goodness, the 59th Street song. And then getting right to the end, which has the, uh, the you know, where it has like the news thing going on about Vietnam and all that and all the destruction that's happening and stuff. And they do a little bit of a silent night kind of, um, you know, thing to mix it in. But it's still a wonderful album. I really love um, Parsley Sage. For sure, indeed. And last but not least is my favorite Simon and Garfunkel album, or Garfunkel, um, is, uh, is this album, Bridge Over Trouble. Of course, this is a great album. Of course, this is an astonishing album, I believe, in my opinion. I mean, my goodness, we go through each of these songs, they're, they're great. Starting off with the opening track, um, the title track. Um, then you get uh, El Condor Pasa, that's a really good one. Uh, and you get The Boxer, that was a big hit. And the B-side, uh, Baby Driver, The Only Living Boy in New York City. Um, and Cecilia, that's a good track too as well. Every song is perfect on here. But one of my favorite tracks on here, of course is um, Bridge Over Trouble Water. Um, probably by far one of their greatest, um, greatest, you know, great, you know, song ever, probably. <coughs> right there with Sound of Silence. And there you have it, folks. It's my number one album, Bridge Over Trouble Water. Just a short re, um, re th you know, kind of re-ranking the albums, kind of just in, in a condensed form. Um, so thank you for uh, watching. Hey, all right. Take care guys. Bye-bye.